Python's memory management. We will uncover the hidden mechanism that keep your code running smoothly and efficiently. First, the reference counting. The fundamental mechanism of memory management in Python. Every object in a Python has a reference count. This count increases when something references the object. When the reference count drops to zero, the object is automatically destroyed. This is Python's primary and most immediate form of garbage collection. In the example, when you create a list x assigns 1, 2, 3, its reference count starts at 1. If you create additional reference like y assigns x and z assigns x, the reference count increases. Each time you, you use a del to remove the reference, the count decreases. And when the count reaches 0, the Python's memory management automatically frees that memory. This is a simple and immediate memory management mechanism in Python. Python uses a garbage collection mechanism for more complex scenarios. It can detect and break circular references, uses a generational collection strategy. It manages three generations of objects, young, middle and old. It performs periodic memory cleanup to prevent memory leak. And consider this scenario with circular reference where objects reference each other in a loop. Traditional reference counting would fail, but Python's garbage collector can identify and clean up such structures. In this example, we create a simple linked list where two nodes point each other. By calling gc.collect, we manually trigger Python's garbage collection to handle these complex reference scenarios. Memory optimization is crucial for writing efficient Python code. We can use the memory efficient data structures, leverage generators and iterators for lazy evaluation, utilize memory views for processing large data sets, and regularly profile and monitor the memory usage, and minimize the unnecessary object creation. These are all op memory optimization tips. Look at some practical examples. First. Generators allow lazy evaluation, meaning they generate value on fly instead of storing the entire sequence of memory. And memory views provide a way to access the internal data of the object like arrays without copying, which is incredibly efficient for large data sets. And Python's trace malloc module lets you track memory allocations, helping you to identify and resolve memory intensive parts of the code.